Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to talk about reading faster on the computer screen. And I want to show you a pretty cool program that we developed at Iris and it helps you read faster. It's free and it's called Accelerator. If you go to accelerator.com, spelled that way, it's where you can access it. And here's how it works. It's a very simple program. You basically just paste in the text that you want to read and then the program will help you read it faster. So let's take some sample text from The Onion. So we have an article here, report students who take Latin have better chance of summoning demon later in life. So let's uh, take a look at this article here. And we're gonna copy the text or Command C or Control C for those of you that are keyboard shortcut savvy. And we go into the program and uh, paste the text in there. Now we're just using a very short article here because I want to demonstrate how this program works. What you do in the settings, you can change the speed. The default is 300 words per minute. Let's try that default speed out. By the way, what is the average reading speed? Well, we know the average reading speed is around 150 to 250 words per minute. That's where most people fall. But that's a reading speed related to reading hard copy material. It doesn't take into account online reading. So what is the average reading speed on the screen? Well, it just so turns out that uh, most people tend to read slower on the computer screen. In fact, there was a study done a few years ago and they found the average person was going 32% slower on the screen. So what does that mean? That means the average reading speed is probably closer to like 140, 150, somewhere around there. By the way, I think it's actually even lower than that because that study had a little bit of a flaw to it. The study basically had people come in and they were put in front of a screen, told to read something, and uh, when they were done, to let the researchers know they were done. The problem with the study was they didn't have a mouse and a keyboard and uh, they were not given other options like, you know, um, no other distractions popping up like uh, maybe some chat notification or things like that. So... This study had a little bit of a flaw in that it wasn't realistic online reading. When you're reading normally online, I mean, you might be reading an article and halfway through you realize, wait, I wonder if so-and-so got back to me on that email. Let me, you know, open a new tab and just check my email. So that one study, even under the controlled circumstances, they found 32% slower on the screen. So if we take into account that result, that means the average speed is not 200 words per minute around there, it's probably closer to like 130, 140, might even be lower than that. But let's see if we can go 300 words per minute. This is the default on the application. We set that as default because we want it to be a little uh, faster than average, a little more challenging to the typical user. And I think you might not even find this to be that fast. Some of you might feel like this is a piece of cake. By the way, if you feel like this is too fast, hey, no worries, you could always change the speed, lower it if you want to in the settings. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna click the read button and you got to focus right here. You're going to notice the words blinking on the screen in the middle. And just try to keep up. And we are just reading this article right here. Report. Students who take Latin have better chance of summoning demon later in life. Let's try it out. Okay, if you were able to keep up, very good. That was uh, 300 words per minute. And did you notice it was blinking two words at a time? That's a setting that you can change on your own here. The chunk size, let me zoom in there so you can see it. Had it set to two. The default is one, but I'd recommend doing two words at a time because you probably notice that uh, you probably don't have much trouble reading two words at a time. Now, to an extent, if you're, if you're not fluent in English, then of course you would have trouble reading two words at a time. Um, there are some languages where I'm not fluent, but just maybe somewhat conversational in. I cannot read groups of words in those languages because I'm not fluent enough. But if you have that fluency, doing two, three words at a time, it's not a problem. 
So you can use this application to help train yourself to read faster by making yourself more efficient by blinking multiple groups of words at a time. You don't have to do two. You can change it to three if you want or four. But test this application out. In a future video, I am going to show you some other ways to tweak this to kind of optimize uh, your reading speed, to improve it. And by the way, we're doing a little experiment here to see how many people are paying attention to these uh, videos that we post on YouTube. Uh, we set up a promo code for anyone that's interested in learning speed reading techniques. If you go to irisreading.com, that's uh, this website right here. If you go there um, and you enter the promo code TUBE, T-U-B-E, TUBE as in YouTube, but just the T-U-B-E, we're going to give you 50% uh, off anything um, that you want on the website. And that is uh, any of our online courses or live courses. You can check them out. And we're going to leave this running for a few days just to kind of get a sense of uh, how many people are actually paying attention to our YouTube channel. And then we'll take it away and we're just going to kind of measure the results. So this is a YouTube only uh, offer. The promo code is tube. And even if you don't want to use that code, don't have any interest, I hope you find the Accelerator program helpful in helping you to train yourself to read faster on the screen. Anyway, I'm Paul Novak and I'm broadcasting today from Montreal in the beautiful country of Canada. Thank you so much for paying attention, and we'll talk soon. Take care.